Hi everyone, it's Stuart from Curious and in this video I'm going to show you how you can turn this kit into a Mars rover. Are you ready for your space mission? Let's get started. There might be some offcuts stuck in the slots on the hollow rectangles. If there are, push them out and then grab your base piece and fit them into the slots like this. Take your glue and run it along the seams of the connected pieces. And we're done with step one. To assemble the rover's articulated wheelbase, take this cardboard cutout and separate the pieces. Now put the pieces back together and then pull them out just a little bit. Take the two paper sticks and slide them down through the flutes in the cardboard. Adjust the pieces up or down a little to align the flutes so that the sticks slide firmly but smoothly all the way through. Don't force it or you'll break things. And that's how we make our hinge joints. Remember earlier I used the word articulated? Well, articulated means having two or more sections connected by a flexible joint. This is what our wheels are going to attach to on the base of your Mars rover. Next, we're going to stick our two rectangle pieces together. Take your one piece and put glue on it in a zigzag pattern, and then do the same for the other piece, zigzagging the glue in the opposite direction. Now stick them together and wipe the excess glue off the edges. Stick this piece into the middle of the ugly side of the cardboard. Make sure that it is aligned straight along the edge and doesn't stick out. Now take your base and flip it over. Put some of the glue on the rectangle and stick it in the center of the base. Push down on it firmly for a minute or two and then check that the joints move freely. Now we can put that aside for the glue to dry. For the instructions to assemble our curious wheels, you can head over to this video and then come back when you're done. Now that you've made some wheels, here's how you connect them. Take a skewer stick and measure 12 and a half centimeters. Take your scissors and score all the way around the stick at the line you made until you can gently snap the piece off. Now take your skewer and choose a flute to slide it through. I'm putting it through the third one from the end. Now grab your tube and cut half a centimeter piece off the end. Slide that piece onto the end of your skewer. This acts as a spacer to keep your wheels from catching on the side of your rover. You'll need to make spaces for all of your wheels. Take your wheels and slide them on. Now slide another piece of tube on the other side of the wheel to keep it in place. And if you need to, add a blob of glue. And there you have your Mars rover. Well, right now it's just the base. Now it's your turn to customize your Mars rover. We've given you additional materials to make additions to your rover. You'll need to think about what your Mars rover is actually going to do on the red planet. Will it be manned or autonomous? Will you need solar panels, storage containers? We thought it would definitely need a light, so we included everything you need for wiring up a red LED. You can watch this tutorial on how to get that wired up and working. And that's it. This might be your first step in becoming the next celebrity space explorer or rocket scientist. But in the meantime, have fun and stay curious. Uh -huh.